Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, with a little mini haul from Hirschner's. Yes, one of my orders finally came in. Um, <clears throat> have myself uh, an empty big tote bag to plop yarn in so you don't think that I'm just dumping yarn on the floor because I promise you, I am not. Just trying to find a good place to set that sucker down. But you know what, Hirschner's? do better look at this box it is and i have not attacked this with anything look at this came all half undone and janky and everything dude dude do better okay or do that you know not to be discriminatory here let me try to figure out which way is up not that it much matters when the box is this janky um <clears throat> I don't know if this got opened by somebody else because there's like two sets of tape. Wow. It's just kind of coming apart. But looks like the yarn's all intact and that's good. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. Got to clear my throat. And I have got a packing slip. Nice. Oh... More stuff for me to buy. More stuff for me to buy. Stop it, Hershners. You're killing me, okay? Oh, and this, Ogo, they are trying to push this stuff. Ogo, oh no, it's a waste. If they gave you more yardage or something, maybe I'd be interested, but they don't. You actually get less yardage in your Ogo. But they had a lot of clearance stuff, and I was like all about getting some interesting new things. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, flip this over for a ghoul deal just for you. 20% off on my next Hershers order. That's what it says on the back there. So yeah, they're really, they're trying. But you know what? Box it up better. Seriously. Okay, what did I buy? It's been a hot minute, so I really don't remember everything. I know you're real surprised by that. I think these are some millens. Well, you know I'm going to pop this open because there's not a label on this sucker. Either one of them, and they're both the same. Okay, let me try to find it on the packing slip because I remember ordering some millens, but I don't remember what I ordered. I know, right? Okay, a pound of millens for $7.99. That's why I ordered them. Not bad. That's a nice gray color. This is a, uh, pretty sure this is a four weight acrylic in this nice gray color. And they're both, they're identical. I ordered two of them thinking maybe I might get two of something different. But no, they are both exactly the same. I'll take it. Guess I'll be making something out of some really awesome looking gray yarn. It's not the softest, but is it is, as uh, Crystal Bagaday would say, scarfable. So, yeah, we'll be doing something with this. Also, don't be surprised if you are the winner of my uh, giveaway that comes out, because I am having a 500 subscriber giveaway. And, oh goodness, if I remember to, I'll link it up here, whichever side it pops up on. Some of this stuff may show up in there. I don't know. It all depends on what I can shove in the box. Not this box, because this box is falling apart, but I will have a nice box to send you stuff out to. Okay. I did order some three packs of scrubby cotton. And... Yeah, it's kind of a pain to work with, but it's really good for making scrubby washcloths and a scrubby dishcloths. For a washcloth, I'll pair it up with a cotton. For a dishcloth, you can make it all on this, or you can pair it up with cotton. I've got a blue and a white. It was the only two colors they had left on sale because, yeah, I'm all about the sale. Uh, four forty-seven dollars for a three-pack of scrubby cotton. Go to Joann's or go to Michael's. You're paying four bucks for one. So 
absolutely I'm gonna get some of that when it's on sale and I got a whole mess of looks like all I got in here was the premier home cotton yeah lots of premier home cotton I don't remember it was supposed to be a pack Six ninety six dollars for the uh, cotton value pack. But I think I have two different cotton value packs in here. Or maybe three. They just left them in here as individuals. So I'm going to show them that way. Because this one is rainbow. Pretty and colorful. This is yellow. Didn't get real creative with that name. Let's see. It's a little bit darker than what it's showing up on my camera, but not much. It's a nice, pretty, sunny yellow. Uh, white. Not much you can say about that. This one is Passion Fruit. Y'all, it looks purple to me. Ooh, and it's got a... Okay, there's just a fuzz in there. It's not tore up. Passion Fruit, but it is sort of a, a, a purple. It's on the lighter side. It's not a deep, dark purple. This one is peach. And yeah, it's a little bit darker than what it's showing up on there on my uh, viewfinder there. It is a real nice peachy color. What is this one? Cornflower. So it's a nice cornflower blue, and indeed it is. This one is pastel blue. And every time I see this pastel blue, don't believe it. It's actually more like pastel blue and mint green got together and decided to mix things up a little bit. And uh, they made this. It's more of a minty green to me than a pastel blue. And what uh, these two could actually go with is this water lilies. Look at that. Now, on the, the multicolored ones, just so you can get all the stats here, they're all a four-weight cotton, uh, and they're 85% cotton, 15% polyester. So, you know, it's a mix, but it's a mix that works just fine for any kitchen application you're looking for. The stripies and the multicolors are 55 grams, which is 88 meters, and the solid colors are 75 grams, which is 120 meters. Y'all, does making striped yarn cost that much more? That's going to be a question that bothers me all the time. But I don't remember which ones went together for this, because I know this was a multi-pack as well. But yeah, so that was it. I told you it was kind of a mini haul. I am kind of excited to work with all of that gray. I didn't know I would get gray. I'm glad I got a color that I like. Um, but it looks like it'll match up nicely with just about anything. And I've got two pounds of it. That's a lot of yarn. That's a lot of gray. Did you buy anything at Hershner's when they were starting to have their big sale and the clearance? Because, you know, I'm all about the clearance. Sorry about the crinkle, but $4.97 for three of these suckers. Yes, and each one of these, by the way, I know I didn't tell you about it before. I thought you might know already. Let's see if, I, if this one's open. Yeah, these are already the end of it's open, so I can pull it out without all that ripping. Uh... Four weight is what it says. It actually, you get it being more of a four weight because of those scrubbies that are on there. So, yeah, they say to use five millimeter hook. Yes, I have to take off my glasses to look at this label. That's what happens when you start getting old like me. 100% cotton shrinkage may occur. Don't say a word. And how much is in this sucker? I know it says it somewhere. There it is. 100 grams in each one of these balls. And that's 133 meters. So, yeah. Probably going to see blue dishcloth slash washcloth scrubby things, back scrubby things out of this stuff. Because that's what I've got. And, uh, yeah. And this stuff... Yeah, if you work with it a lot in a row, it'll start to irritate your hands because it's a little bit rough, but it's supposed to be a little bit rough. When you're using it to wash stuff with, it is, it's harsh enough to scrub with that you can use it on your dishes, 
but it's also gentle enough when paired with some regular cotton um, to use as an exfoliator. Face scrubby. So if they still have some, the colors are limited, but go for it. It's not a bad deal. I looked for coupon codes to see if I can get free shipping or something. Never did find one. If you know how to find coupon codes for Hershner's, let me know because I did not have any luck. So there you have it. Mini Hershner's haul. Didn't spend much. And I'm, that's a good thing because I shouldn't be buying any more yarn. Although my cubes are getting a little bit depleted. Yeah, I keep telling myself that. <laughs> See you very, very soon. And don't forget to enter that 500 subscriber giveaway. Make sure you listen all the way to the end of the video so that you know exactly how to enter.